Hi there. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather, on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. It is Tuesday. It is the 25th of February and tomorrow Say goodbye to winter and hello to spring. We have all of your details for your spring forecast. It is an all day event. You're not gonna wanna miss it. It is going to be an absolute ton of fun. All right, taking a look at what's happening across the country, huge Texas low is really going to be impacting us over the next couple of days. It will start this morning as a little bit of mixing. It's gonna be a bit of a, a wet drive, but it shouldn't impact your morning commute. But this is what Environment Canada has in store for us. We've got a winter storm for Wednesday into Thursday we've got snow and strong winds as well as some mixed precipitation on the way. Today, overcast five degrees, feeling closer to two. By tonight, that's when things start to get a little messy. We are going to be seeing some snow moving in through the GTA. Tomorrow morning's commute is not going to be great. Tomorrow evening's commute is going to be worse. That is when the heavier snow is going to be making its appearance. And then on top of that, we've got wraparound snow with very strong winds Thursday and into Friday. Our temperatures are going to be cooling down. We're looking at a daytime high tomorrow of only zero. That is much cooler than today or even yesterday. Now here's Mark Robinson talking about melting snow on a pad. Well, tis the season for the sweet sap to be flowing. This is in through Port Dover, Ontario. Yes, it is the beginning of maple syrup season. Get your pancakes ready. And hey, it's Pancake Tuesday or Fat Tuesday or Shrove Tuesday or whatever you would like to call it. <laughs> I'm Emily Vukovic. Thanks so much for joining us here on the Weather Network. We do have a very powerful Texas low approaching that is going to be bringing us a lot of snow. I know we were experiencing spring-like conditions over the weekend and yesterday was beautiful. Today, things will start to deteriorate and tomorrow is when we really get impacted by this system. Special weather statements in place for Southern Ontario. We have a winter storm watch in some areas to the south and to the east. We are going to be seeing significant snow starting tonight, continuing throughout the day tomorrow and tomorrow afternoon is really going to be when we see that heavy swath of snow. So your morning commute tomorrow morning, it's not going to be great. Today, we're experiencing some wet roads. Tomorrow morning, in comes the snow, and then we start to see it really impact us throughout the afternoon and evening. We are going to continue to see heavier snow as we get that wraparound impact, we're going to see our wind shift direction and our temperatures really cool down into the minus single digits. Now, speaking of snow, this gentleman was incredibly lucky as he was rescued when an avalanche hit. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday. It's the 25th of February. I'm Emily Vukovic. We've got a messy winter system on the way. This is going to be bringing us rain, snow, and wind. Tomorrow's commute to and from work is going to be incredibly messy. Environment Canada has issued special weather statements talking about the heavy snow, the strong winds, and it's going to be a messy day. Over the weekend and yesterday, we experienced spring-like conditions that has come to an end. We are back into winter-like weather. Five degrees today. We'll see quite a bit of overcast conditions because of the system that's coming up from the south. This Texas low isn't going to save anyone. It is going to bring all of southern Ontario a decent swath of snow. The majority of the snow coming through the overnight tonight and then tomorrow afternoon is really going to be our heaviest swath. So the accumulating snow will continue tomorrow evening, tomorrow overnight before it starts to wind down. But then we're going to be dealing with that wraparound snow and the lake effect coming off the shores of Huron in Georgian Bay. Now that snow coupled with that wind blowing and drifting snow could certainly be an issue. So really this is gonna last as an issue for the next couple of days. Zero is our daytime high for tomorrow afternoon. So much colder than what we have been. And then those northwesterly winds that are going to be very strong giving us a daytime high on Thursday of only minus four, feeling much colder than that when you factor in the wind. Looking at our snowfall accumulation, 10 to 20 centimeters of snow for the city of Toronto just checked looking like 17 centimeters for the downtown core anywhere along that lake shore is where we are going to be seeing some very heavy snow up through Barrie and through Kitchener, Guelph, Cambridge, everybody. Nobody is escaping this at all and then Friday still very cold with light snow. All right this man in Florida could certainly be considered a hero. Watch this next story. 
Time now for your morning brief. Chris Nicole and Emily with you. Happy Shrove Tuesday mm. or Pancake Tuesday or Fat Tuesday. And Chris, you kind of explained this to me earlier this morning as to what it's all about. And I'm hoping you're right when I quote you on this because if not, well. we might have some angry viewers. But apparently today you're supposed to kind of live your life like it's your last day. Because tomorrow is, is Ash Wednesday, Ash Wednesday yeah. and Lent begins mm -hmm. and that's when you're supposed to, you know, uh, straighten Fast. up, fly right yeah. and give yeah. up at all the all the you know also the bad known stuff as, uh, just eating like a pregnant woman <laughs> right day. right and then you're done so and then you have to stop eating like a right. pregnant woman mm -hmm. for the day so there you are all right well uh mardi gras is mm -hmm. happening down in new orleans and kim gives us this piece on how it is now becoming really bad for the environment yes. Watch this. Well, that'll be good. Biodegradable beads. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we were talking about how we both went to New Orleans in, in May. May. You'd still see the beads. And I saw from the beads trees. everywhere. And there was also on Bourbon Street. There was litter everywhere too. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think that's pretty much part of course. Of course. So when you go to yeah. New Orleans, uh, yeah. I went in August and it was incredibly hot, which was <laughs> awesome. Uh, but yes, beads still everywhere, all the yeah. time. All right. Okay. Well, we have a storm system emanating not in Louisiana. But it's the time we've all been waiting for. It is our spring forecast. It gets revealed tomorrow. It is an all day event. You do not want to miss it. It is going to be a ton of fun. Although it is not going to feel like spring. It's going to feel like the middle of winter. <laughs> we have a large Texas low and this happens every year in our spring forecast. We get all jazzed up to talk to you about warm temperatures and sunshine and all the fun things you can do in spring. And then we get hit by a huge snowstorm. And that is exactly what is going to happen. I guess it's karma, right? <laughs> Texas low is going to be moving in throughout the day today. We are going to be seeing overcast conditions, some rain throughout the morning hours, and then this afternoon, overcast conditions. Environment Canada has prepared us with a winter storm watch as well as a special weather statement talking about significant amounts of snow, wind, and we do have some rain with this as well. Five degrees is our daytime high today. Overcast conditions this afternoon. It's still going to feel a little cooler than that. So keep that in mind as you're getting the kids ready for school and getting yourself ready for work. Tomorrow morning, or this morning, a little bit of rain moves out. And then we've got that snow coming in late afternoon and in through the overnight. We will start to see that heavier accumulating snow throughout the day tomorrow. So unfortunately, your morning commute tomorrow as well as your afternoon commute tomorrow are really going to be awful. I would say that the afternoon is going to be worse than the morning because it will have accumulated by then and that's when we're going to see our heavier swath of snow. Think that's bad. Wrap around impact. Our winds are going to be incredibly strong. We've got winds coming off the shores of Huron and Georgian Bay. That is really going to mess up our Thursday morning commute. It's not going to be great. Temperatures are going to be cold. We're getting back down to the freezing marks throughout the day tomorrow and it is going to be very windy. Not so much for today, but winds will start to increase throughout the day tomorrow and then really start to impact us for Thursday and into Friday. So blowing and drifting snow, whiteout conditions quite likely in some communities and temperatures remaining cold. Now temperature swings, we have had them this week. Do they make you sick? Watch this. Well, we are experiencing active weather throughout all of eastern Canada over the next couple of days. A very powerful Texas low is going to be bringing us widespread snow, very gusty conditions. City of Toronto, 10 to 20 centimeters. In through Ottawa, 15 to 25 centimeters. And up through parts of southern Quebec and Atlantic Canada. You're not going to be spared from this either. We've got 15 to 20 centimeters for you through parts of Montreal and in through Quebec City. Could see up to 30 centimeters before it moves its way on through Atlantic Canada. New, New Brunswick getting hit harder than Nova Scotia. The Weather Watch continues. I'm Emily Vukovic. Thank you for joining us. It's Tuesday, the 25th of February. Tomorrow we reveal our spring forecast, but this, this does not look like spring. We have a very significant snowstorm on the way for parts of Southern Ontario. Today, however, is going to be the calm before the storm. We're looking at a daytime high of five degrees, which is going to be mild, not as mild as we got up to yesterday. We were closer to nine degrees, almost hit 10 through some parts of the province. But for today, five, and we are starting off the day, a little bit of rain, some wet roads, and then by this afternoon, lots of cloud cover. Tonight, first round of snow moves in. This is going to disrupt tomorrow morning's commute. By tomorrow afternoon, however, that is where we're going to be seeing our heavy swath of snow. This is going to be a problem for those trying to get home tomorrow afternoon and in through the evening. It will continue 
through the overnight and then after that we're going to be dealing with wraparound so the bulk of the moisture that will track its way east but then we're going to start to see our winds really pick up in intensity pick all all of that fresh snow blow it around the wraparound flurries they're going to continue thursday and even into friday the winds today and tomorrow not bad gusting up to about 30 kilometers an hour but then as we get into thursday and friday they really start to intensify gust 60 to 70 kilometers an hour through much of the GTA. Temperatures, we're looking at about 5 today, dropping to 0 tomorrow, feeling colder than that when you factor in that wind. And then the snowfall accumulation, it's heavy, up to 15 to 20 centimeters, quite likely for the city of Toronto, areas south of that, 10 to 20, areas north of that, 15 to 25. Those areas that are going to get hit the hardest in the snow belt regions, up through Peterborough as well, 30 centimeters possible. It is not going to be great to get around. Next week, we'll see some sunshine, but things are really going to be cooling down, and we can thank the polar vortex for that. Here's this. Your Weather Watch continued, sponsored by EF Go Ahead Tours. Today, we are talking mountains, you guys. We've yeah. got some beautiful mountains here in Canada. Big time. And we asked you a poll question about where you would want to see the best landscape. Oh, nice. All right, mountains make for a stunning backdrop while traveling. Which of these destinations would you most like to experience for the mountain landscape? Uh, I'm going to Cape Town. Uh, I'm, I'm going Cape Town, too, because wow. I've been to Greece. I've been to France, but I've never been to South Africa. I'm going other. What's your other? Other? Why leave Canada? We have the we have the Rockies. It's true. We've got the we mountains do. all the way from the Yukon all the way south. Because we're Canadian, Nicole and I are like, well, yeah, we've been there, we've done that. <laughs> we need to be more extravagant in our travels. All right, let's see what you said. Well, Becca Ooh. said Nepal for the Himalayas. That's, That's a good, good one. That is a mm -hmm. very good one. I wouldn't say no to that. Mm -hmm. Dan, New Zealand again and again. I wouldn't say no to that either. <laughs> All right. Iceland or Switzerland. All right, I could be persuaded. And the entire span of the well, Rockies. Well, thank you. You know what? That was actually the most popular answer was the Canadian Rockies. Yeah. Whether it was Banff, Lake Louise, Jasper. Uh, people were also mentioned towards the Yukon as well. So there you go. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Hmm. Well, we have exciting news for tomorrow here at the Weather Network. We are releasing our spring forecast. We'll find out what this new season looks like where you live. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will have lots of fun features tomorrow, too. So it's an all-day event. Hope you can join us. So uh, the last half hour, we showed you the upper level dynamics of right. this storm system. So now we're going to bring it down and show you the, the surface because okay. this is how, this is what most of us will see. <laughs> you know, most of us. Anyhow, okay, so we've got this storm system coming in. It's, yep. it's got its origins in Texas. So this thing is going to be moving its way uh, north. Well, tis the season for the sweet sap to be flowing. This season, get your pancakes ready. And hey, it's Pancake Tuesday or Fat Tuesday or Shrove Tuesday or whatever you would like to call it. <laughs> I'm Emily Vukovic. Thanks so much for joining us here on the Weather Network. We do have a very powerful Texas low approaching that is going to be bringing us a lot of snow. I know we were experiencing spring-like conditions over the weekend and yesterday was beautiful. Today, things will start to deteriorate and tomorrow is when we really get impacted by this system. Special weather statements in place for southern Ontario. We have a winter storm watch in some areas to the south and to the east. We are going to be seeing significant snow starting tonight, continuing throughout the day tomorrow and tomorrow afternoon is really going to be when we see that heavy swath of snow. So your morning commute tomorrow morning, it's not going to be great. Today, we're experiencing some wet roads. Tomorrow morning, in comes the snow, and then we start to see it really impact us throughout the afternoon and evening. We are going to continue to see heavier snow as we get that wraparound impact, we're going to see our wind shift direction and our temperatures really cool down into the minus single digits. Now, speaking of snow, this gentleman was incredibly lucky as he was rescued when an avalanche hit. Incredibly stormy conditions today throughout Ontario, Quebec, and then eventually into Atlantic Canada. Heavy snow on the way. It is going to be hard for travel. Some of the accumulations range anywhere between 10 to 20 centimeters. That looks as though what we're going to be dealing with in Hamilton, through Kitchener, Toronto, Coburg, and up through Kingston, 10 to 15 centimeters. Ottawa could get closer to 25 by the time it is all said and done. As we get into Quebec, the heaviest hit areas up to 50 centimeters, but for Montreal and into Quebec City, 20 to 30, certainly not out of the question. And then as we get into Atlantic Canada, 
The warmth is going to be replaced by a winter storm. This is happening primarily for you on Thursday and in through New Brunswick. That's who's going to get hit the hardest, anywhere between 10 to 20 centimeters, parts of Nova Scotia. You'll be dealing with rain temperatures still holding on to a little bit of warmth. Well, if you are going to be heading out in the next couple of days throughout Atlantic Canada, we do have some rain and some pretty decent snow on the way through parts of New Brunswick, up to 30 centimeters through Miramichi and up through Bathurst and through St. John's and through Moncton, anywhere between 10 to 20 centimeters, quite likely. And through Quebec, anywhere between 15 to 30 centimeters in the hardest hit areas. And you're not alone. In Ontario, Ottawa could pick up 25 centimeters and Toronto, anywhere between 10 to 20 centimeters of accumulation. Thanks for joining us. It is time now for your long range forecast. Meteorologist Dr. Doug is going to be joining me to break down this system a little bit more in detail, but I'm going to start to get into it because it goes over a couple of days. So it starts today, wet roads. We've got a little bit of rain, a little bit of mixing in the forecast, but for the most part, we're looking at overcast conditions, daytime high five degrees. Too warm for snow, but we could see some more rain. And then tonight, things start to deteriorate. Still seeing a little bit of sunshine holding on through Barrie today, but most most areas very overcast throughout the afternoon. As we get into tonight, we will start to see things mix into a little bit of snow for tomorrow morning. So our commute not going to be great. By the time we get to tomorrow afternoon, that is when the heavier swath of snow really starts to push through. It will continue through the evening, through the overnight, and then for Thursday morning as well. So expect to see very messy roads over the next 24 to 48 hours. Behind this system, we have the winds to contend with. We could see gusts up to about 70 kilometers an hour. Wraparound flurries continuing through Thursday afternoon afternoon continuing throughout the day on Friday it is going to be so messy temperatures dropping significantly we're only going to see a daytime high of zero tomorrow and then taking a look at the snowfall forecast in total could see up to 20 centimeters for Toronto Meteorologist Dr. Doug Gillum joining me now and Doug so much for spring uh, yeah. we saw it over the weekend but now we have returned to winter you know after many of our snow systems this year we've had milder weather afterwards that has quickly melted the snow not the case this time frigid well not frigid right, but more <laughs> midwinter temperatures uh, behind that system slowly falling through the day now the widespread system snow over by Thursday morning with some flurries but then the lake effect snow squalls gets going in earnest and we haven't had a lot of lake effect in the mm -hmm. snow belts this year this will be some of the heaviest lake effect of the year and at times these bands will extend all the way into the GTA and again wind gusts will be 50 to 70 kilometers per hour so extends of blowing and drifting snow and whiteout conditions in the snow belts and then as we go into late Friday and Friday night those bands settle into more of the the traditional snow belts but it stays cold all right could still pick up a few flurries friday night and into saturday oh look at those temperatures doug yeah it'd be frigid. quite a contrast to what we saw over the weekend and then saturday clouds mixed with some limited sun again that lake effect continues where they want it in ski country cottage country a mixture of sun and clouds and then our coldest weather comes Saturday night, minus 15 in Toronto, and parts of cottage country will go below minus 20. Wow, okay, but then the sunshine returns. Is that going to make a difference? No, not really. Oh. Another cold day on <laughs> Sunday, but it'll be nice to look out and see the sun. But then temperatures quickly recovered and near seasonal on Monday, well above seasonal for Tuesday and some rain for the middle of next week. Thanks, Doug. It's Tuesday, February the 25th. I'm Emily Vukovic. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Weather Network. So over the weekend and yesterday, we saw very spring-like conditions. Well, unfortunately, all good things must come to an end and we have winter returning with a vengeance. We are going to be seeing a very significant storm brewing through Texas. It's gonna track its way up towards the lower Great Lakes. In fact, it's already started in the early morning hours, a little bit of wet snow. Some of that will dissipate in this afternoon. We may even see it transitioning into a little bit of rain. So mostly overcast conditions, could see peaks of sunshine, but for the most part, a relatively gloomy day. System really starts to push in through the overnight tonight. We'll see kind of a swath of light snow 
know this is going to be impacting your morning commute tomorrow morning and then by the afternoon that's when things really start to intensify so your afternoon commute is going to be worse than your morning commute but if the roads are treated well and there's a lot of traffic on the major routes they should stay wet hopefully not snow covered but as we get into the evening less traffic through the overnight it looks as though some of that snow will accumulate and then we're dealing with the wraparound effect behind it we've got probably the most significant lake effect event of the season so far. Normally we see a lot more lake effect, but those typical lake effect areas are going to be seeing a decent amount of snow and those could even reach into the GTA. So for tomorrow, temperatures dropping. We're only going to see a daytime high of zero. Oakville zero, minus three through Orangeville, minus two up through Barrie. Thursday, lake effect. Those are the flurries that we're going to be dealing with. Snowfall amounts in total, anywhere between 10 to 20 centimeters through much of the GTA, looking closer to 15 to 20 by the time it is all said and done. And then temperatures stay very cold for Friday. All right, going to turn things over to Amanda Weldon. She's got some good advice for us on how to stay safe on slippery roads. Tomorrow's a big day here at the Weather Network. It is the reveal of our spring forecast. It's going to be an all day event. It will be a ton of fun. We've got some special guests coming in. We're going to be talking about the season in our area for the next few months. Now we saw very spring like conditions over the weekend. It was very spring like yesterday, today and into tomorrow. Well, things are changing. It is back to winter weather and we can thank this very large Texas low. You can actually see the trough and the jet stream going all the way down towards the south. We are going to be seeing significant snow by the end of the week. Environment Canada issuing a winter storm warning as well as a special weather statement talking about the heavy amount of snow, the winds and we can even see a little bit of rain. <laughs> That's today's story. Five degrees feeling more like two. Those northeast winds coming in at about 15 kilometers an hour. We are going to be seeing showers kind of on and off. So dealing with some wet roads today. But tonight, that's when the snow starts to build in. Our temperatures are going to be dropping. Light snow throughout your morning commute tomorrow morning. By the afternoon, things will start to increase in terms of the heaviness of the snow. We're looking at a couple of centimeters an hour. So if the roads are treated well and they're heavily trafficked or traveled, I should say, with traffic, they should stay okay. But it's really going to be through the overnight and Thursday morning when the roads are going to be traveled lightly that we can see that snow accumulate. And then we've got the winds and the wraparound to contend with. So it's just going to keep going. The snow will not stop until Friday, really. Zero is our daytime high for tomorrow. Snowfall amounts 10 to 20 centimeters. Looks as though the city of Toronto could be picking up closer to 20 by the time it is all said and done. The winds have the potential to be gusting upwards of 70 kilometers an hour. Blowing and drifting snow certainly could be causing poor visibility Thursday and into Friday. All right, time now for a new health and weather. Talking about temperature swings. Does this make you sick? Well, it could. Watch this. But for the most part, we are returning back to winter weather. I'm Emily Vukovic. Thank you for joining us. Environment Canada has issued a winter storm watch as well as a special weather statement talking about significant amounts of snow as well as wind and rain. Driving the next couple of days, it's not going to be great. I mean, your commute tomorrow morning. Okay, let's start off with the commute home. Fine. Five degrees, could see a few showers here and there. Through the overnight, we will see light snow developing. Tomorrow morning, roads will be wet. If they're treated, they should be okay. By tomorrow afternoon, heavier swath of snow starts to move in. This is when it really starts to accumulate. And then by tomorrow night, that is when we're going to be seeing probably the worst type of driving because the roads, well, the snow will accumulate with those temperatures dropping and they're not going to be as busy. So Thursday morning can certainly be tricky, not devastating, but certainly tricky. And then we've got those winds firing up Thursday into Friday and lake effect snow. So drifting and blowing snow certainly could cause poor visibility. It's not going to be great to be out and about, especially since it is going to be cold as well. So the winds gusting up to about 70 kilometers an hour by the time we get to Thursday and Friday and temperatures hovering around that freezing mark throughout the day tomorrow. Snowfall accumulation, it's not a huge uh, determination of where you are. It's going to be kind of that lake effect versus the system snow. So we could see 15 centimeters worth of system snow for the city of Toronto and then a couple of additional centimeters because of the influence of the lake and that wind being so strong. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 
Yeah, snow in the forecast. By the time we get to the weekend, still cold, but we'll see a little bit of sunshine. Now the cold air has to come from somewhere, and are we blaming the polar vortex? Well, yes, yes we are. Take a look at this. Ah yes, the warmth of winter. Well, we're not going to be feeling that anywhere towards eastern Canada over the next couple of days. Powerful Texas low, bringing in snow, rain, wind. It's not going to be great to be getting around over the next couple of days, that's for sure. Traveling down the U.S. eastern seaboard, getting down to Florida. Yes, some communities are going to be dealing with some rain, but look at our temperatures. We're even 25 in Tampa and then down towards Key West. Could see an isolated thunderstorm tomorrow, but we do have a high of 28. Thanks for joining us. It is time now for your long range forecast. Meteorologist Dr. Doug is going to be joining me to break down this system a little bit more in detail, but I'm going to start to get into it because it goes over a couple of days. So it starts today, wet roads. We've got a little bit of rain, a little bit of mixing in the forecast, but for the most part, we're looking at overcast conditions, daytime high five degrees. Too warm for snow, but we could see some more rain. And then tonight, things start to deteriorate. Still seeing a little bit of sunshine holding on through Barrie today, but most areas very overcast throughout the afternoon. As we get into tonight, we will start to see things mix into a little bit of snow for tomorrow morning. So our commute not going to be great. By the time we get to tomorrow afternoon, that is when the heavier swath of snow really starts to push through. It will continue through the evening, through the overnight, and then for Thursday morning as well. So expect to see very messy roads over the next 24 to 48 hours. Behind this system, we have the winds to contend with. We could see gusts up to about 70 kilometers an hour, wraparound flurries continuing through Thursday afternoon afternoon continuing throughout the day on Friday. It is going to be so messy. Temperatures dropping significantly. We're only going to see a daytime high of zero tomorrow and then taking a look at the snowfall forecast in total could see up to 20 centimeters for Toronto. Meteorologist Dr. Doug Gillum joining me now and Doug so much for spring. Uh, yeah. We saw it over the weekend but now we have returned to winter. You know after many of our snow systems this year we've had milder weather afterwards that has quickly melted the snow. Not the case this time. Frigid, well not frigid, but more <laughs> midwinter temperatures uh, behind that system slowly falling through the day. Now the widespread system snow over by Thursday morning with some flurries, but then the lake effect snow squalls gets going in earnest. And we haven't had a lot of lake effect mm -hmm. in the snow belts this year. This will be some of the heaviest lake effect of the year. And at times these bands will extend all the way into the GTA. And again, wind gusts will be 50 to 70 kilometers per hour. So extensive yeah. blowing and drifting snow and whiteout conditions in the snow belts. And then as we go into late Friday and Friday night, those bands settle into more the traditional snow belts, but it stays cold. All right, could still pick up a few flurries Friday night and into Saturday. Oh, look at those temperatures, Doug. Yeah, it'd be frigid. quite a contrast to what we saw over the weekend. And then Saturday, clouds mixed with some limited sun. Again, that lake effect continues where they want it in ski country, cottage country, a mixture of sun and clouds. And then our coldest weather comes Saturday night, minus 15 in Toronto. And parts of cottage country will go below minus 20. Wow, okay, but then the sunshine returns. Is that going to make a difference? No, not really. No. Another cold day on <laughs> Sunday, but it'll be nice to look out and see the sun. But then temperatures quickly recovered and near seasonal on Monday, well above seasonal for Tuesday and some rain for the middle of next week. Thanks, Doug. It's Tuesday, February the 25th. I'm Emily Vukovic. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Weather Network. So over the weekend and yesterday, we saw very spring-like conditions. Well, unfortunately, all good things must come to an end, and we have winter returning with a vengeance. We and then temperatures stay very cold for Friday. All right, going to turn things over to Amanda Weldon. She's got some good advice for us on how to stay safe on slippery roads.